Welcome back, Vault Fam and Grape Gang. We love you here. Today is just for the beginners. We're talking about the top three beginner grinds. If as soon as we get into this, you're like, man, this is way too easy. I'm already above that. Don't worry, we have a couple other tutorials on the site. So again, beginners, pay attention, and we're gonna give you the steps, what it takes to be an amazing rider. And of course, you gotta put in the work. You're not gonna be Ryan Williams, you're not gonna be Sondizi at the day one. It, you're gonna have to start on something little, like a curb. So of course, easiest, quintessential, the first scooter trick you're ever gonna do, first scooter grind, have ya, is gonna be a feeble. What that is, front wheel on top, back wheel, hugging the curb. A lot of kids, they're gonna start grinding and they're not gonna get that back wheel in here. You're gonna get it right here and quickly, it's gonna slip out. And step one, honestly, just get on your scooter. Don't really even go at it with any speed and just practice getting that. For the first couple, you can definitely put your heels down. See that one? Let's slide out, now you know. All right, I need to shove the back wheel closer to the ledge. And this is a good point to talk about your stance. If on the scooter, you're standing like this, like this, I've seen some funkiness like this, or like this, that is not preferred. You're gonna to wanna to commit to either regular or goofy as your normal stance. And what that means is you want your toes pointed in pretty much the same direction, like you see skateboarders doing or all your favorite scooter pros. So I ride regular, so for me, this is a back feeble where my backside is towards what I'm grinding on. So as you roll up, your backside is closest to what you're gonna grind on. That's the beginner feeble, and of course, if you prefer front side, no issue with that. Same thing, just opposite. You're gonna approach, and the obstacle you're riding is gonna be on your front side. Now let's see one of those while I'm moving, where I'm not all the way locked in, and how you're gonna quickly now. So how quickly the back end washed out there. I need to get my front wheel a little bit closer to the edge and my back wheel slammed right up against it. With that, you're able to slide for quite a bit. Again, front side or back side, regular, goofy, doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have one stance that's your favorite and if at these beginning stages, you kind of want to work on your switch stance, highly recommend it. The next beginner grind is going to be the Smith grind. And again, just like the feeble, you're gonna to wanna to start out just stalling on it. It's gonna be exactly the opposite of a feeble. Feeble is front wheel up, back wheel down. Smith is front wheel down, back wheel on top. And just like with the feeble stall, just wanna get something you're comfortable with sitting right next to it, and just jump out a couple times, get that lock-in point. So, if you're grinding on a curb, Smith stall is not gonna be that easy. You're gonna probably want something heavily waxed. Let's see if I can even get a Smith to slide on a curb. Now you can see the chunkiness on that and if you watch what I do with my body, I leaned way back almost like I was in a manual so that the front could slide a lot easier. If you have all your weight on that front peg, this is going to happen. You're just going to stick and that's part of being a beginner. You got to learn exactly how to position your body. And the only way to get good at that is practicing. Of course, you can do it backside or front side, and it just switches how you're approaching it. What I was doing was backside for front side, same thing, just approach front side. Now, as you work on those, you're gonna get better. Some days you're gonna, you know, be a little discouraged, but it's okay, stick with it. I sucked for the majority of my scooter career, and according to some of you guys, still do. So don't get discouraged, right? Thank you FedEx for shipping our scooters all across the world. As you're practicing, feel free to try to link them together because that's the start of all your combos. You've mastered these. You're ready to move up to some other obstacles, but you don't have a skate park nearby. Might be time to get a nice little rail for your driveway. The transformer rail is gonna be a great option for you guys because it's both ledge, flat bar, uh, and a round rail. And the next beginner grind we're gonna show you is a kind of a big jump from the Feeble and the Smith, but we figured probably aren't ready for 50-50, so the next one's gonna be a board slide. And same thing, you can have a backboard or a front board, and when you're first starting out, doesn't matter at all that you're just scraping it, I'll show you beginner begin. Just barely a little scraper. And just like all the other grinds, depending on your stance, me being regular, my backside is towards the rail, 
So that's gonna be a backside board slide. If I come back and approach and my front side is towards the rail, this is gonna be a front side board slide. And as you get more confident, start grinding just a little bit more. For a first couple, you're probably gonna approach it with that scrape and not get all the way up there. That's okay. Here's what I see, absolute novice level. This is gonna be what you guys do. And I'm scared. Ugh. See, I just got scared. I just got scared, it's all right. I'm just starting out. I'm not gonna get discouraged. Let's keep practicing. As you get more confident, you wanna get on top of the rail and just kinda lower your center of gravity so you're not fully straightened up. Easy. The more you're doing these grinds, you're gonna quickly pick up on what works and what doesn't work. If you're leaning too far back, you're gonna slip out. See, didn't commit, took a foot off. I was leaned back, I was really straight. Not gonna get a good grind. If you're leaning too far forward, you might catch an edge. This rail is pretty waxed up, so not gonna be too bad. Approach, hop on, bend the knees, roll away, style. Thanks for watching, guys. That was top three beginner grinds. You had the Feeble, starting out stalling the curb. The Smith, start out stalling the curb. Make sure to keep an eye on your stance. Again, you wanna to commit to either regular or goofy. And then, of course, don't forget to try the switch. And if those are really easy, you got a flat bar or a super wax ledge, you might be able to start working on your board slides. If you guys wanna see some more tutorials like this, maybe a step up, comment below what are some tricks you'd like us to give you the pointers of and what level you're at. We'll do it all. I mean, we could go expert level. We'll get Tyler Chaffin and Cody Flom in here to show you the park tricks. We'll get our street slayers in here. We did have a video about how to hit some street rails. So definitely check that out. If you're way above this video, you probably didn't make it to the end. So should have said that at the beginning for my street dogs. But hey, if you stuck it out through this, kudos to you. And uh, yeah, get out there and shred, guys. See you next time.